You know, I'm really pissed off for the amount of time and filament that I wasted uh, doing these retraction towers, you know, only to be going back and forth to Cura, adjusting the settings, trying to find the right setting, which I did find eventually, but I've had a few people asking me lately for help how to be able to get the right retraction settings, and so I came up with an alternate method to doing this, and then I went and I printed this right after doing my test. And I did not change any retraction settings. It's consistent. It's the same on every level. I did not remove a single hair, fiber, strand, string, anything on this temperature tower. So what did I do? I came up with my own little test that I created and uh, using Cura to create these stripes on the bed so one of those temperature towers takes 35 to 40 minutes versus each one of these little tests that I did here takes two minutes each then I used the information that I found from this sheet to be able to just go and print this retraction tower right away and as you can see I mean the bridge across is fantastic no hairs no fibers no strands if you want to find out how I did it using this simple little test to get the results to go straight to this temperature tower the first time. Stick around and I'll share it with you. If you find these videos useful, please consider liking and subscribing. Okay, so before you go trying to do a retraction test and trying to get your retraction settings right, you need to make sure that you've got your extruder calibrated. If you're trying to do this before that, then you're going to struggle. So all I did was I created this pattern. So each one of these is the pattern repeated three times. And it takes two minutes to run each one of these. So after doing research, I found out that it is very typical for Bowden tube printers to have a retraction distance between four to six millimeters. So all I did was I created this pattern using five millimeters. I went right down the middle, but then I changed the temperature settings for each one of these. So this is 190 degrees, this is 200 degrees, and this is 210 degrees. So when I looked at the pattern very closely and inspected the lines and ex inspected the points where we're doing the retraction to jump over a step, jump over a step, if you look really, really closely, you're going to see that this one on the right here at 210 degrees gave me the best results. The lines are the crispest and straight, and I ended up with the ends being the uh, having the most squared off ends, so to speak, whereas there's little bits that were uh, missing on the previous stripes. They're not as crisp and clean, and it may be difficult to see on the camera, but when you hold it up live uh, in front of your eyes, you're definitely gonna be able to see the difference that this was the best one. Now, not all filament is created the same. So you may have a filament that will give you better results at 200 degrees than 210, but this white filament for 210 gave me the results that gave me a perfect tower. So this way you can do this simple test where it takes two minutes each. And if you're not happy with the results, you can go and tweak it to set it up to six millimeters of retraction or four millimeters of retraction. But the key here is the temperature is a critical factor and the filament needs to be able to flow. So I have a gap, I have a little cavity here because the filament can't flow as freely. Whereas here it lays down a, a beautifully straight, smooth line that the filament is flowing well. So five millimeters of retraction at 25 millimeters per second. And this is the results that it gave me. I used White Overture PLA for this test and if you use the link below to buy a roll it'll help me keep my wife in wine and keep her from killing me for all the mess that I typically make.